Greetings ladies and gents, and welcome to today's Reddit series video from the subreddit HFY called Warned, written by You Sure I'm Not a Robot. The link to the original will be down below and as always, I hope that you enjoy. Chapter 8 Rebellion Council War Room Your Excellency, Admiral Rook reports complete destruction of the human colonies and homeworld. About time, Raw cast it to the galaxy. We will deal with our weak-minded allies next. Excellency, we have intelligence that Admiral Rook died in the assault on AKA. We are attempting to communicate with the fleet. Excellency, the Zernep fleet reports complete victory. They returned to their homeworld. You see, I knew it. Ignore any more futile propaganda from the humans. They are all dead. The Council must deal with our membership issues. Excellence, the Herian have declared independence. They have recalled their staff. Their fleet is guarding their homeworld, and they are refusing to discuss why. Internal politics inform the Zernep that they are required to occupy the Herian system. We will bleed them dry for this, traitors. Excellence, we have lost contact with the Zernep. We have reports that they are seizing ships and returning to their homeworld. They are firing on any council ships that attempt to interfere. Order the prosecutor of battle to attend immediately. His compassionate leave is cancelled. We need to know what is happening. Excellence, our best intel reports that the human space is intact. The human fleets have not left their space. Whatever is happening is our own people. This is a rebellion. Commander Five withdrew the fleet from the Zernep space. Just two battleships, broken and bleeding, were left in the system. Begin Stage Five. The bait ships cried into the void. They poured out footage of a great betrayal. They wept over the millions of dead at the hands of the supposed allies. Zernep fleet ad hoc. Chief of War Pisium. The Council reports the humans destroyed. Our reports confirm that our fleet destroyed their fleet and homeworld. Yet we have lost contact with home. I don't care what you need to kill. Get us home. Call in the tribes. We're going now. They arrived in system completely destroyed. Their world on fire. Their stations falling or broken. No one alive. Of the proud Zenep nation, all was of fire and vacuum. A faint voice was heard, two ships dying or dead. At the edge of the system, they relayed the truth, the victory, the betrayal. War Chief Perseum, we will await our brothers in arms. We will burn the council for this. The UAA went to work. Commander Five inserted his ships amongst the growing fleet of assembled in the Zenep system. More a mob than a fleet. One or two at a time of his ships arrived, full of anger against the council. Commander Rexic prepared for his speech. He could speak softly, but he didn't have a big stick. They didn't know that. I address the incoming fleets. Your council has betrayed you. They have burned the Zernep homeworld. They have executed your Admiral Rook. Before you face us in battle, I suggest you speak to your people. You are being sent here to die. The council has already burned our homeworld. This is our last colony, and we will kill anyone approaching. Look to your own homes. What happened to us is happening to you. Tell Commander Six that the moment is here. Fair sailing. Aye, aye, Commander. That works. Commander Five looked up at the window at the assembled ships. The anger, the pain, the loss. This is defeat. He remembered it well. His bots made their way through the assembled ships, another few million on his conscience. Thankfully, not for long. The Zenef fleet grew, but they had no targets. Years, generations of being the biggest bully, the henchmen. Now they had no clue. We watched as their ships arrived. At some point, they would work it out. That couldn't be allowed to happen. Send our intel to Commander, Godspeed, and farewell. Tell him I needed this. I did not go gentle into that good night. Commander Five detonated his fleet. Sir, the Zuanep are gone. Acknowledged. End of chapter. Chapter 9 Eye of the Needle 
Commander 6 watched as Commander 5 took his fleet out of the system. Her job was here. She wished him fair sailing more than any of the other commanders that he had sought naked revenge. She hoped he'd redeemed himself before the end. He carried the ghosts of lost friends. She focused on the job at hand. She began activating her assets. Unlike some, she had no military experience. She was a builder, a maker. Her designs had been used on every colony world. Her printing technology revolutionized the entire economy on the human worlds. When they dug her out and fixed what they could, it was her machines that gave her back her eyes, her right arm and most of her spine. They couldn't give her back her mind. She knew that it was broken, but the ordeal had bled all happiness from her world. She would endure this universe a little longer, but, uh, frankly, she didn't want to look up and know that it was stars held by murderous criminals. She was here to change that. So she built the forge. She knew that they didn't use names around here, but frick it, this was her planet, and she could call it whatever she wanted. The military had never interested her. When she offered herself to this cause, she had been appalled as what passed for a design. Privately, she thought that the military spent its time sharpening new types of rock. They never questioned why you need a rock or why you need to be standing on it to achieve your objective. She had promised them weapons that kill stars or fly through the eye of a needle. Time to see if she was right. The four incoming fleets were proof of concept. After that, Earth could sort it out. Inform Commander Rexek that I am beginning. Council Fleet approaching the AKA system. Commander Risk, Flowing River Fleet, Tanzim Nation. We have no contact with any of the other fleets that went into the system. Admiral Rook is not responding. We need to coordinate our actions. I suggest that we appoint an interim commanding officer between us. I volunteer to assume command. Fleet Manager Overworld, Battlefleet 1 Legat Corporation. That would be efficient, however this victory will dictate which one of us will ascend to the council. I am not authorized to decide at that level. However, I will agree to accept command. Please, send me the relevant codes to assume control of your ships. Shipmaster Armin, Revenge of Occupy Fleet, Compass Alliance. This is pointless. We cannot surrender command to anyone. My people would hang me for it. I suggest that we each enter a different direction and fight independently. Our communications are too unreliable to coordinate anyway. Haswas Fleet, Haswas Nation. We concur. We surrender control to no one. We will risk to counsel alone. Commander Arisk, can we ask that you agree to delay the attack for a few days? Our engineering problems are ongoing. Hazawas Fleet, we are not concerned with your machines. We have rid ourselves of the parasites. We will attack immediately. The glory will be mine. Fleet Manager Overworld, we too need to fix the inefficiencies that have occurred. We will attack when we are satisfied with our capacities. Shipmaster Armin, our orders were clear. I must attack immediately. The Admiral may need us. Hanging around for days will be seen as cowardice. I will attack with the Haswas fleet. Commander 6 searched for any signs of gremlins. Nothing yet. Never mind, she had her own tricks. The millions of micro-satellites she put out for Commander 9 were still around. She set them to ping across the system, mapping the void. She had assumed the incoming fleets would avoid the wreckage of the previous ships. The burning debris and the gas giants littered the whole quadrant of the system. So that was out. The massive solar anomaly created by Commander 7 shrouded more of the system. Such a nice boy. From the forge her ships rose, none of those inefficient crews slowing down the acceleration, carrying tons of pointless atmosphere, no endless radiation shielding to protect a bunch of flying apes from every solar squall, no windows for them to stare out of. Her ships were engines first, acceleration was the primary weapon. The AI was sharp as mankind could create, sensors were minimal, and all her ships took information from the satellite systems. Then she printed them out, millions of different sizes, different payloads. She had melted down her planet to create this. She had taken the essence of warfare and designed for it. Now it was her turn to bury these thieving bastards. 
End of chapter. I hope that you enjoyed. If you'd like to support the channel or the author, all the stuff is down below. And as always, I hope that you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next story. Cheers.